Hello everyone and welcome to a new video, MC Mora here and in today's video I'm going to teach you all about Rashid and how you can use him in the 5th season of Street Fighter V so let's get started So what type of character is Rashid? Well Rashid in my opinion is a jack of all trades he has a little bit of everything so he does have a fireball and it's a, and it's a weird fireball because it goes in an upward angle kind of like a parabola angle and this is hard to deal with for some opponents because your typical instinct against fireball would be to jump right so if your opponent try to jump this they'll actually get hit because it goes up and then he can get like a a juggle after it you can do something like a eagle spike and this will juggle them if they try to jump it so that is a bit risky so he does actually have some decent and annoying zoning options he also have some good anti-zoning options if we have him have v skill 2 all right and ken will try to throw fireballs at us so if ken try to throw fireball at us you can roll under it and punish him if you have V trigger 2, your EX Eagle Spike will go through. Of course, Rashid also have very good jumps, so he does have good amount of screen control. He can play the lame game and annoy his opponent from a distance. And of course, you have moves like an Eagle Spike, so you can play a hit and run game with Rashid, right? But the name of the game with Rashid is the corner. Rashid is all about the corner. He probably is the best character in the game at getting his opponent to the corner, as well as escaping the corner once he is cornered himself. So, for example, if we talk about like one ultra basic combo, like heavy punch into heavy eagle spike, look at this, they're already on the corner. If I do like medium spinning mixer, they're already in the corner. So the most basic and simplest of combos with Rashid will carry them all the way to the corner and once you have them cornered you can then harass them with throw loops you can do your tornado pressure and keep them there so his corner control is actually incredible it is actually really 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 good and once he himself is in the corner he can turn the table on his opponent because of the short wall jump as you can see this is very hard for your opponent to deal with so typically they will stand a little bit better you know further than that to avoid being hit by that you also have a high wall jump and this is very very good for escapes as well because you can do something like this and now you're completely out he also have an escape v reversal that switch sides so if ken try to hit us you know we can escape with this and lastly but not the least is of course the ex eagle spike that will also switch sides so rashid's corner control is off the charts it is absurd in every way possible so is he a very strong character the answer is yes rashid is a very strong character he has been a considered a top tier top 10 top 5 for a number of years now very very strong character because he also have some really good neutral buttons this crouching heavy is amazing standing heavy kick is good heavy bunch is kind of busted his crouching light is still really really good so rashid is very very good overall a jack of all trade his only downside i will say is that he does a little bit of below average damage except in very specific situations so he does his damage output is a little bit average to below average little bit on the lower side but that is to be expected because of his mobility and all the tools that he have he also does now have a little bit of below average health his hp is only 950 most character at this state at have an HP of 1025 so his HP is a little bit below average but it's not a big deal it's not like a handicap as much as Akuma for example so now let's talk about Rashid normal attacks like we always do we are going to start with the lights and Rashid actually have super good lights his standing light punch in particular is a highlight this is four frames but it is plus three on block it leaves you on throw range so you can combo after it or you can throw them after it it's also because it's plus three it's very very good normal for frame traps so if we here have kami try to interrupt with a jab you can actually frame trap with it into itself you can frame trap with it into the standing medium punch you can frame trap with it into his other lights it is very very good for that purpose you can even throw her afterward and try to mesh her 3 frame so this is one of your best pressure tools and it's gonna be your go-to pressure tool going for block strings like these 
and hit confirming the counter hit it's gonna be a big part of your Rashid gameplay even doing something like this you know frame trap with it into the crouching light into the standing medium or straight into the standing medium or delaying it a little bit because the thing about this is if you rabbit fire it it's a true block string they cannot mash out of it so if you want to frame trap with the standing light into itself you will have to delay your bottom presses a little bit just to catch her inputs as you see so you can absolutely deal with it or you can just you know default to the crouching light and get your frame traps and one of the best thing about this is if you manage to land this to hit you can actually combo it into itself you can combo it into the all of the other lights to the light kick the crouching light the crouching light punch it combos into all of his other lights and it's also special cancelable so you can cancel this into the light mixer you can cancel it into the medium mixer you can cancel it into the light eagle spike and all of that will combo and as you saw that does like 140 damage so it is actually pretty good damage for what it does very strong attack i would recommend using it a lot the other one is the crouching light punch this is also four frames but this is only plus two on block but, but again it's still a take grab so you can absolutely pressure them with this one again it also frame traps into itself frame traps into the standing medium it is a little bit of it's, it's kind of similar to his standing light punch but a little bit worse i would say so i would actually recommend using the standing light more the standing light is a better normal in my opinion it is a because you have one more frame of advantage it, it actually makes it a much better normal but this is still really really good and of course you can always cancel it into light mixer or whatever you want his other light is the standing light kick standing light kick is his three frame so this is the three frame attack this is what you will use if you want to interrupt your opponent pressure if you are waking up from the ground and you want to wake up with normals this is your three frame this is his fastest normal this attack is not a pressured normal glow because this is only plus one so if you're fighting versus characters who don't have a three frame you can actually take throw with this but like you've seen if Kami presses her three frame she will hit me out of it if, we, if I try to frame trap into lights, I will, we will trade. I, I, of course, can't frame trap into mediums. I will get counter hit. So this is not a pressure tool, but it's an interruption tool. You can you can also cancel it. So you can cancel it into light mixer. This is safe anyways. You can cancel it into the eagle spikes. This is unsafe, but you can do it. And when you wake up with normals, it is expected that this will counter hit so for example if i am on the ground if, if kami knocked me down and i'm waking up with a light this is regularly plus two so you can't combo anything after it you can do it and then combo anti normal after it but because i am waking up with a light i am expected to get a counter hit so you can link it on counter hit to his jabs so you can do get something like this if you want but again you can just do it into the light mixer and hit confirm that it is possible i will say or even like two two of them into the other mixers it is a pretty decent attack it's not what it used to be this used to be a lot better so capcom actually nerfed it quite a bit but it's still a pretty decent attack and in general it is good to have a light attack doesn't lead to much anymore but it's still good to have a three frame having a three frame is very very important in street fighter 5 so this only leaves us with the crouching light kick and this normal is this normal is something else man the crouching light kick is his is, is also a four frame attack and this is a control and spacing tool what i mean by this is this doesn't lead to much but it have amazing range so if we had kami block here have her block and be crouching as you see this for a light attack this have very good range it doesn't lead to much like i said but it is and you can consider it like a spacing and control tool it sets up plays so for example i can do something like this and now i'm in perfect range to do my standing or crouching heavy right or like It is something that you will do to control space pretty much this is also good for shaking forward dashes and check this out this actually have more range than his crouching medium kick 
So for example, from a range, let her let's have her stand up. So for, from a range like this, the crouching medium is not reaching. As you can see, the crouching medium kick doesn't reach. The crouching jab, re the crouching light kick reach. So this is a good spacing tool. You can use it to control space. You can use it to shake forward dashes. It actually is pretty good at punishing minus four attacks. So heavy kick like Ken's standing heavy kick and all of that. And it also chains into itself. So if, if it happened to hit, you can combo two of them together. It's not special cancelable, so you're not getting much. But, uh, you know, you're getting something, right? Like 38 damage is not much, but it's annoying. This is normal that you will use to control space. It is a control normal, not a normal that you are using to get damage or set play. So now we are going to start to talk about Rashid medium attacks. And his medium attacks are, again, really, really, really good. So we are going to start with his standing medium bunch. This is 5 frames startup, so 5 frames in Street Fighter 5 is very good to have. And this is plus 3 on block. And like you noticed, Rashid moves forward when he's doing this. So this makes this move very good for pressure because you can use it in frame traps. And because Rashid is already moving forward, it, it makes it even better. You know, it makes it even better and it makes it better in combos and all of that because he is moving towards his opponent. Now, the thing about this attack is it is going to be a little bit of your bread and butter combo starter. So one of your basic combos with Rashid is doing standing medium bunch into either crouching medium bunch or crouching medium kick. So you are going to do combos like this into the light, you know, eagle spike or comboing into the crouching medium into again the eagle spike, maybe combo into the mixer, you know, whatever tickle your fancy and fits the situations. This is gonna be one of your go-to attacks. And this is also, again, very, very good on counter hit, which also refers back to what we said about it, it being a very good pressure normal. If you manage to land this, it is plus eight on hit. Plus eight on counter hit. Plus eight on counter hit means that you get to combo into a standing heavy. So this leads to very good damage. If you are like in the corner, you can get something like this, which is like almost 300 meterless. Mid screen, you can get something like uh, standing medium into heavy, into heavy eagle spike, which again is amazing. Let me show you like a, some of the practical frame traps that you can do with this. So here Kami is gonna mash her three frame, right? So we said that standing light punch is one of our go-to pressure normals. So I can do standing light punch and frame trap into the standing medium punch. And this will counter it. So you can get the conversion that we said earlier just a little bit ago. Standing light punch into standing medium into standing heavy and then get an eagle spike or, you know, combo into the V-skill. And like we said also, this is 5 frames and plus 3 on block. 5 frame plus 3 means that it will frame trap into itself. So as you can see, like that counter hit into itself. This puts it at a little bit of a distance, so you can't actually get a standing heavy in this situation, but you can combo it into sweep. So even from maximum range counter hit, from maximum range medium counter hit, you can still combo into sweep if you, you know, if you reacted and hit confirmed that you got a counter hit. Standing medium in general is a fantastic normal. Like we said, you can use it with the lights, you can use it to... You can use it to force, you know, frame traps. It is special cancelable itself, so you can, you know, you know, take part of that style of pressure if you want. It is a very good normal. I would recommend actually using it a lot in your pressure. Standing light bunch and standing medium bunch are your best pressure tools. I will say these are gonna make the most out of your point blank pressure. His other medium, of course, is the crouching medium bunch. This is pretty interesting. It is his go-to normal anti-air. So if we had Kami jump here at us, if Kami jumping, this is a pretty reliable anti-air, I will say. And you can cancel it into the heavy, it's special cancelable, of course, like we said. So you can actually cancel it into the heavy whirlwind shot and, you know, kind of, you know, get some pressure after this. Like we said, that was a combo. So you can actually cancel it into the world one and continue your pressure from there. It is a decent tool for anti-airing. Now, something that's actually interesting about this is that it forces a stand. And 
forcing a stand in general is not that useful with Rashid I mean but it, it have a very specific use so let me show you why this is useful and this is gonna play into V trigger 2 or V skill 2 I mean so one of the thing about V skill 2 is that Rashid can do whirlwind and cancel it into this kick right and he does a V skill and then when you're up the wall you do a kick and Rashid will fly like you said he will do an airborne eagle spike the normal combo route you will go is something like this you will do standing medium into crushing medium kick into like whirlwind shot right if you try to cancel into V skill 2 from this the kick will fly straight over them so as you see the kick will fly over them now we said the crouching medium forces stand so because this forces stand she will be standing up and this will make this connect that is basically why they changed it and made it a a combo filler attack now to work with v skill 2 because you can get some conversions like this you know it's some pretty cool fancy combos this normal used to be great for pressure because it used to be plus one but not anymore now it is only minus two so this is strictly an anti-air and the combo filler but again outside of v trigger uh, v skill 2 you will likely not be using it that much because it have it have less range than his crouching medium so this is much more reliable this actually if you combo into the, the crouching medium it does a, a, 10, a 10 more damage so this does 185 this does 194 so it does a little bit more damage but that you have less range to work with so if you're not a v skill 2 player i wouldn't actually use the crouching medium in combos that much i will use the crouching medium kick more because this is more reliable because of the extended range i will say something like this might whiff while this is a little bit more reliable as you just see and with that let us actually go to the crouching medium kick this is a crouching medium kick it's, it's, it's it used to be it used to have amazing low profile abilities and it kind of does but no, not nearly as it used to be it is a good tool to shake people walking back and of course you can always cancel it into the whirlwind shots so if your opponent is blocking yeah let's have a blocking everything it is cool to you know check your opponent with crouching medium into whirlwinds you can of course if they if, if they're trying to walk back you can shake them with crouching medium into light mixer and hit confirms the mixer from there it, it's a combo tool as well because you do crouch standing medium into crouching medium kick into the eagle spike or the mixers so this is a good crouching medium kick it's it's, it's not that special anymore and the range is not as long as it looks as you see it is deceptively short actually but it's good to have a cancelable medium it's of course good to have a cancelable medium and it being cancelable into all of his specials this is very very good and a combo into everything of course so crouching medium is pretty good and it's gonna be part of your bread and butter combo tool or combo structure because it combos from the standing medium bunch his last medium is a standing medium kick and standing medium kick is a good poke this is minus four on block i believe so you know you can get punished by some characters for it but again it, it's, a, it's, it's a spacing tool it's a decent poke it's good to use in conjunction with his other normals so this is just a pure poke i'll say it is kind of like cammy's medium kick and you know karen's medium kick that style of moves decent poke one of his better pokes probably and it's not much that you can use it other than that you can kind of you know, hit confirm it into his V trigger one. So there is some use in that, and it is actually one of the better moves to use with V trigger one because it, it, it properties change. As you see, like you see Rashid moving a lot more forward with it. So, pretty decent book overall. You know, nothing that special, but still pretty good. It's still a pretty good book. His final medium is his forward medium bunch, and forward medium bunch does this double hitting attack. This is minus two on block, and the first hit is special cancelable. So you can absolutely, and it have good range as you see. 
so you can use this in frame traps so if we do something like a standing medium as a counter hit it will combo into these so something like this and then it will leave you in throw range so you can throw them afterward you saw how far this is conforming from so you can get something like this and one of the better use of this forward heavy bunch or forward medium bunch i mean is your opponent trying to escape the corner so as we said the first hit is special cancelable so if we had here can we try to block our jump or block our pressure and then escape the corner so she would be trying to jump over us right you can do something like heavy mixer and this will she will have escaped the corner at this point right but with the forward medium you can use it to do something like this and put her back again in the corner this is one of the prime use of this attacks in my opinion and one of the best ways to use it it also have a lot of use in combos in general and because this is minus two and rashid is the king of minus two you can of course cheese with it and do something like this you know have it blocked and then immediately you know do your ex mixer so it is a good to, it's, it's, it's a good attack to use in the neutral it is good to use as poke it's safe you can use it in counter hit confirms like we just seen you can use it to deny their corner escape it's a very good move to use in, in general so now let's start to talk about rashid heavy attacks and again they are fabulous rashid in general have fantastic normals the highlight of course is his heavy punches the crouching and standing heavy punch and these two moves complement each other perfectly well let's start to talk about the crouching heavy because this have a lot of applications and it is probably the single most important move rashid have so do you remember when we said that your pressure game is gonna be the standing jab and the crouching medium your spacing and space control game with Rashid is gonna be your crouching light, your crouching heavy bunch, and your standing heavy bunch. This normal is pretty stupid, I will say. It's only minus two on block. It's a crush counter. It has great range. Like, look at how far this is hitting from. The first hit is special cancelable, and this makes this move a, an integral part of his pressure game. Because you can combo the first hit into an eagle, into a light whirlwind shot, medium or a heavy. And you can do something like this, cancel into the heavy and then throw them after. You can do it and cancel it into the, over, uh, the EX whirlwind shot and have this be part of your pressure structure so this of course is something that you are going to be doing a lot in pressure going for strings like this and you know use it to basically extend your pressure use it to cancel into the whirlwind and extend your pressure it's big part of your pressure game as rashid because this is what allows you to extend your pressure otherwise you will do your typical stuff but the crouching heavy because of its range and it being cancelable into the whirlwind allow you to extend your pressure options and pressure strings quite a bit but that is not all it does this is also a very strong neutral tool and one of the reasons that this is very strong in the neutral is because it is a crush counter and on the second hit so if you happen to land the second hit only you will get a crush counter like that and out of this crush counter you can dash up and then do your medium bunch you know bread and butter combo so that in itself is very very good but not only that this like we said is minus two right so you can abuse with this as much as you want the thing is your opponent will likely be fed up and will like okay now i'm gonna take back my turn so they will block and then they will try to interrupt or try to take back their turn and throw out a heavy of their own then you get to whiff punish them and even better you actually get to combo into the standing heavy or you know whiff punish into the standing heavy and this this is why i said these two moves work fabulously together because this is a fantastic whiff punish baiting them into doing a long range normal or taking back their turn and then whiff punishing with the standing heavy bunch is a staple of rashid's neutral game so your neutral game is gonna be spacing yourself with the with the crouching light kicks and then abusing with these two tools together the crouching heavy to set up the you know spacing traps 
and the standing heavy if you expect them to try to take back their turn. This is a lot of what you are going to be doing in the neutral. As you can see, like this is excellent for that. This is a fantastic spacing traps. And now we will talk about the standing heavy in itself. Standing heavy is, like we said, it's a very good normal for with punishing. And this is also a crush counter and you actually get some pretty good stuff out of this. So if you happen to land this in the corner and you manage to land it as a counter hit, first of all mid screen, you can hit confirm this into a V skill down into the roll and you would be plus five in this situation. So you can get something like this. And that will combo. Of course, you can combo this into a it's special cancelable by itself. So you can like hit confirm it into a heavy eagle spike if you want. That is really not bad at all. But the thing about this is if you manage to land this in the corner and cancelled into an EX whirlwind, you actually get very big conversions here. So you can get something like this. You know, that's like 350 damage, that's a lot of damage. So standing heavy punch is very very good and like we said, it's also used in pressure because this is what you would wanna counter hit confirm into. If we here have her block everything and then use up our standing light and standing medium pressure structure that we said, we are using this, right? This is gonna counter hit combo from the crouching, from the standing medium. So as you can see, this was two hits. So if you have them near the corner a little bit, you can get something like this and then combo into very good damage. Or mid screen, you can combo like into an evil spike and get some great damage. So overall, the both of these normals are fantastic at what they do and they work together fabulously well. You can just abuse with this so much. This is the light mixer and the standing heavy and the crouching light these are your neutral tools of course along with the fireball the neutral with Rashid is gonna be all about how you will you can use these two moves together to control the space his other heavies are of course his standing heavy kick standing heavy kick is minus four on block and this he kind of hops when he's doing it so this makes it really good at baiting throws. So for example, if we knock her down, she's gonna try to wake up with a grab. So this will lead to situations like this. As you can see, Rashid will be airborne. She's trying to throw, but he will go through her throw animation because he is in the air. The typical use that you would wanna do with the standing heavy kick is V-trigger activation, especially with V-trigger 2. So running to the face and then doing standing heavy kick into V-trigger, this is a very common strategy. You are plus a lot in this situation, you can get like shimmy here, you can get a lot from this. I wouldn't recommend using it in the neutral that much, the range is really fantastic, but Rashid moves forward so much and at minus 4 you are gonna be punishable by some of the cast and the crouching heavy have almost the same range and it is completely safe. So you can still absolutely use this, but you know, I would recommend using it more for V triggers activation because like we said, like look, look at this, you get a lot more in V trigger. So this is gonna be one of your key V trigger activation tools. Wouldn't recommend using it in the neutral that much. It is also a crush counter and you can get some pretty cool combos out of this if it happened to land as a crush counter. Like we, like we just saw, you can get something like this. You know, ton of corner carry. It's a very good normal overall. Rashid honestly have might might have one of the best normals in the game in general. So it's still really really good. But again, these two are kings. The final one is his sweep, and his sweep is also pretty good for a sweep. It have it, it have decent range. The range for sweep is actually pretty decent and it counter hit combos from his crouching from a standing medium like we said earlier so this is reliable for pressure and neutral it's not a move that you are going to be seeing rashid do a lot because he does have a he does have this this is gonna dominate the neutral with rashid honestly 
Like this is the most important move in his arsenal, I would say. But make sure to notice that this is with punishable. So if you're fighting someone who's really good, they are gonna with punish you for this. So make sure that your spacing with this is on point. His final thing is the overhead. The overhead is pretty fine. It's a typical overhead. Uh, it is throw invulnerable. So if your opponent is trying to throw you, you can kind of hop over the throw. As you see, you can kind of hop over the grab. This is like a typical overhead round ender. It works well with V trigger one, because in V trigger one he will fly a long distance while doing this. As you see, like it have like crazy ranges with this V trigger. So it is a pretty decent overhead overall. Rashid in general have very very strong you know neutral game in general. All of his normals are mostly really really good and really really useful. So you can't really go wrong with most of them. So now let's talk a little bit about Rashid's V system and his jumping attacks. Rashid actually have really good jumping attacks like everything else honestly. Uh, the thing about Rashid that kind of throws me off personally is that he does a, a ton of flips during his jump. So his jumping animation is actually kind of ambiguous. Like even his neutral jump looks a little bit weird. It's weird that he's doing all of these flips and all of that during jumping so it, it makes him a little bit weird. But anyways, so his jumping attacks are all really really good actually. Jumping heavy punch, this normal is this is really 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 good. Like this normal hits really deep, it's super active, you can hit it super early and like you like like as you can say, like as you see, it's 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 you can hit it very early and still be able to land and you know hit them after it. It's very good for situations like this. It's a very good jumping attack in general. The headbox is very very strong, and that also applies for the jumping heavy kick. Heavy kick has it's a little bit slower than the heavy punch, but the horizontal headbox is better. So this is better for far jumps. This is more for close range jumps, while this is better for far jumps, as you as you're seeing. So if you're jumping from a close distance, jumping heavy is very very good. You can do it very early in the jump arc and it will beat a lot of anti-airs. If you're jumping from a little bit of further distance, jumping heavy kick is better for these distances. Now his other jumping attacks are the jumping medium kick and jumping medium kick is a pretty good cross up. You can comfortably land and you know combo whatever you want. You can comfortably land and combo with the standing medium. So you are getting your bread and butter combo on you know on a cross up hit easily. The hitbox is pretty decent. Not the best in the game, but still really really good. It's not Kage crouching medium kick or jumping medium kick, but still it's still pretty nice. The other really notable one is his jumping medium bunch because jumping medium bunch is a floating state kind of air to air. He hits in a horizontal fashion, and you can special cancel this into the airborne eagle eagle spike even on jumping back. So you can get something like this. On some angles, it can be finicky to hit this, but this actually can combo. The angle is kind of finicky though. That's why I don't like using it a lot, but you can use it in some combos. Haven't been able to get once, damn. Finally. So, it, it, it is possible to hit that. You can do the EX Eagle Spike if you want it to be a little bit more consistent because it hits on the way up and down. So this is more consistent, but just know that this is this is an option, of course. Even, even if it whiffs like that, you're still in a pretty good position. So it's... It is, it's a bonus if it hits, and if it doesn't, you're still in a pretty good position, so whatever. Of course, one of the things about Rashid, and I have to mention this because we're talking about his jumping game, is that he does have this dive kick. So this, in conjunction with his already really good you know, jumping attacks, makes it really hard to anti air Rashid. So he has a normal that will hit you from really high heights, really early, and then he can delay his landing time by doing the dive kick it is of course unsafe massively unsafe as you see it's plus 35 and on you so it is massively unsafe but it is an option it's an option that you know you should know that it is there now let's talk about his v system and rashid of course like every other character have two v skills and his first v skill 
is a multi-functioning v-skill if you just press the v-skill button he will do this command jump and a kick out of that will transition into his dive kick right just like we've seen so you can hit, like jump and just hit kick at any po uh, point and Rashid will do this dive this part is not that helpful except for escaping the corner so when you are let's say you are being cornered like that you want to escape the corner so you can do something like this and then escape this is a practical application one of the other applications for this is actually trying to um let's have ryu try to guard or wake up with the throw let's have ryu start to wake up with the throw right because you can use this for throw situations so for example we are going to knock ryu down and he's gonna wake up and was grab right so you can uh, use the, the airborne version for that you can use it to throw pet your opponent by just doing the v skill and instantly pressing all of the kick buttons to do the ex version so this is another application for it but again the jumping version it's not that terribly useful right it, it's decent in some situation it's very situational about where you want to do it but it doesn't have many neutral uses it's still pretty good it's still a good option to have like we showed you but you know the other version is the roll and the roll is actually really really good this is really good and it have a ton of utility if ryu is throwing fireballs at us this can actually you know low profile his fireballs and from a pretty dis you know look at the distance and look at where this is effective from about two thirds of the screen distance from a distance like that this will comfortably connect you can combo into it so if we are if we don't have any v gauge like you see it is pretty decent for comboing into it you're getting some good damage as well because in the corner you can juggle a heavy mixer after it if you happen to have v trigger 2 this is also v trigger cancelable so of course if we here have v trigger 2 on rashid you can use this and cancel into v trigger so this is again have a ton of utility and one of the things about this is it's also really good after back throw so you can throw them backward and this is kind of a meaty on a back throw so if you we have you try to wake up with grab and you can get something like that so the roll have a lot of utility and not only that it's also very helpful in conjunction with his whirlwind shots because you can cancel them into the v skill so this is the key to rashid maintaining his to rashid maintaining his extended pressure sequences you will cancel into the roll and p plus like we see like we're so plus in this situation or just doing this and being plus you know getting the throw after so this is what you're gonna do a lot or most of the time even with rashid that's why his v skill is very very good because even mid screen if you do something like this you're even right this is even if you have a three frame you can stick up your three frame and you know try to try to continue your turn so even on block mid screen with a sequence like that you are pushing them to the corner because of this v skill and it's also it's, it's just really really good it, it, it have a ton of utility it can be used in combos can be used in the neutral can be used for v trigger activation can be used in some juggles you can you can you can special cancel it to super so you can do something like this and you know combo to super the roll or the v skill one and roll in general have a ton of utility it is one of his key it's one of his key attacks now let's talk about the v skill 2 now and the v skill 2 is a little bit more gimmicky rashid will jump back to an invincible wall and then do a dash forward and if you press a kick he will do a if you press a kick while you're at the wall he will do a dive kick this is pretty all right because you can combine this with the whirlwind to do some cool pressure but the thing is the roll is actually really really useful i think this v skill is all right because of what you can get it can it you can use it in combos something like this 
you know, and get some combos here. In the corner, it can be pretty useful because you are doing a jumping attack. Like you are, you are hopping off the wall and doing a jumping attack. So you can go for cross-ups. It can be tricky, tricky in some situations like these. You can go for cross-ups. In the corner, you can abuse with it a little bit. And you know, keep annoying your opponent or something like that. Empty jump uh, and pressuring. So it does have some utility with that. It does have some utility with V trigger one. If your opponent is blocking everything, and we are using V trigger one, you know, you can absolutely do some stuffs with that. So it it does have some uses, but honestly. I wouldn't use V-Skill 2 with Rashid for now because V-Skill 1 is too good and in particular this portion of the V-Skill is a roll and just having it along with the whirlwind shots makes Rashid pressure much scarier. It makes it much scarier in my opinion. This is a very big part of Rashid's identity and it's what makes him a really good character. If Rashid didn't have his extended pressure turns that is caused by this, Rashid would be a lot weaker. So overall, Rashid have pretty good V-Skills, I would say stick with V-Skill 2, or V-Skill 1 for now, stick with V-Skill 1 because of the roll, and let's see what happens with V-Skill 2. For the moment, I think V-Skill 1 is the way to go. So let's now start to talk about Rashid's special moves, and I'm going to start with his spinning mixer, this is done by pressing quarter circle forward plus punch if you press the light punch he will do this horizontal attack the medium does a 45 degree angle anti-air looking spin and the heavy will go directly up and each of these have their uses and each of them follow a similar law if you just do them raw he will do a little spin but if you keep mashing the jab as you can see Rashid will continue spinning it will do more damage and it will knock the opponent down you have to be aware though that if you just, for example for the light, if you do the version without any extra mashing, he is minus 2, so this is completely safe. At minus 2 you can just block, you can go for an EXDB, you can do for whatever you want. The light version is also, is also doable from the running state. As you know, if you press forward forward with Rashid, he doesn't have a traditional dash, so he will run. So forward forward with Rashid will run and if you press in punch Rashid will transition into the spinning mixer and this also has the same properties as his light spinning mixer. If you just do it just press the one the bomb press Rashid will be safe at minus two. If you keep mashing it he will be really unsafe at minus 11 you will get full combo punished. Of course if you manage to land this to hit you can stop midway and go for a grab or you can mash it all the way and get a knockdown. The light mixer is a poke tool. This is something you will want to use in the neutral. Maybe use something like it's actually his furthest range poke. As you can see, this might whiff for some ranges. However, the light mixer will connect. So, from a distance, if you want to get in, it is not a bad idea to do this as you're completely safe. This is fine, in my opinion. This is a poke tool, and of course, you can combo into it from lights and get knocked down if you want. The medium version. This is a combo attack. This is an attack that you will want to only use in combos. And what you do is... You use this for the corner carry. Because like you see, this have really good corner carry. And the thing about this is, if you mash it all the way, you will get the most amount of corner carry, but you will not be able to pressure your opponent. Because the separation between Rashid and his opponent will be big. So what you want to do is to mash it halfway through. Something like this, and I don't get much okay. But if I mesh it halfway through, like this, I'm very close to my opponent, and I succeeded in my mission to getting them to the corner. So, mesh it halfway through, because if you just did the little tap, you don't get much. So, you just mesh it the middle way, don't mesh it all the way. Mesh it just midway through the attack and stop meshing to get the best possible knockdown after. The last version is the heavy mixer. And the heavy mixer is an anti-air. This is straight up an anti-air. Like you've seen, it's just an anti-air attack. Which makes it really really good, because it also anti-airs if they jumped in behind you. Rashid goes directly up, 
as you saw so this is very very good for stopping jumping attacks it is probably his best anti-air right and in some situations in the corner you can actually combo out of this if we do something like this you can manage an ex eagle spike afterwards you know you can manage some heavy mixers afterwards so all of them have their uses if you are doing them from the running stance you will always get the light mixer out of this the ex mixer this is a dragon punch this is like a sure you can attack you use this as an invincible reversal so if Cody's jumping at us again this will beat everything this will crush everything but of course if you if 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 if, if, the, if, if it got blocked you, it's just like any sure you can you will be in a crush counter state so be careful when you're trying to use this right the other special Rashid have is the Eagle Spike. And Eagle Spike is, as you can see, it's a cake that goes directly horizontally. And again, if you are running and you press a kick, Rashid will transition to the Eagle Spike. You can use these for traversal, so you can do something like this, stop and then go for the grab. The light doesn't travel that much, so it can be deceptive. But the thing about these is that they are all really, really unsafe. If your opponent blocks these, you are at minus double digits, so they can eat. that's minus 15, minus 16. So they can really punish you for this. So I would actually recommend not doing this in the neutral. I would more recommend doing them in combos. So for example, it's something you hit confirm into and then you get some pressure. Something like this and then you continue your pressure. Otherwise, I don't actually recommend using him that much. The light version will combo from his lights and mediums, but the medium and heavy will only the medium will combo from his standing medium bunch, but the heavy will only combo from his heavy bunch. And this have amazing corner carriers. So as you can see, heavy bunch into heavy eagle spike is really good damage and really good corner carry. So these are combo attacks. The EX is really good because it allows you to switch sides. So if you do the EX mixer, if you if, if say you got cornered by your opponent, you can do something like standing medium to an EX eagle spike and then juggle with a medium mixer and then you switch sides. So this have a really good strategical value. Of course, it's also unsafe on block. It's just as unsafe as the other ones, right? The final thing Rashid have is his fireballs. The light will go the most horizontally, the mid is halfway through and the heavy one kind of goes upward. These are used in zoning, so you can use them to control some space and you can also use them in pressure because Rashid can cancel into his V skills out of the mid, out of the heavy tornado. So if you do the heavy tornado and then V skill, Rashid will either do the jumping attack or if you do press down plus V skill he will do the roll and this is something he will use in pressure so you will do something like that roll forward P plus and continue pressure with your opponent as you can see this can be really used in pressure they can be used in the neutral if you do something like crouching medium kick to super, this is just a basic check. It's like Ryu doing crouching medium kick to fireball. If this lands, you can actually super cancel this and get a conversion here. So his fireball, it's like it it, it looks untraditional, but in many ways it actually works like traditional fireball outside of the pressure aspect, of course. And of course the EX will primarily be used for this situation. The EX will be used to then cancel into the V skill and continue pressuring your opponent. This is gonna be the main use of the V skill version. Or the EX version I mean. You can get with it some cool combos like that. Use it for pressure. So typically these two attacks are enders and the fireball is a zoning tool and it can be used for your pressure. Rashid honestly kinda looks like he has an unorthodox style but a lot of his moves work in ways where if you are familiar with fighting games you are gonna grasp how you're supposed to use them. The, he also have a dive kick. This is just like Kami's, it's, it's an eagle spike in the air so while you're jumping 
you do an eagle a quarter circle back plus kick and the strength will change the angle the main purpose of this is to just mix it up with your regular jump so for example you can do some regular jump your opponent might get some good sense of when you're jumping so they will try to anti-air you then you will use this to bait their anti-air so for example if i here had cody he's trying to, he's gonna try to anti-air me so with this timing cody will anti-air me right but I can do the dive kick to delay my air by landing recovery and punish him for trying to anti air me. This is the main use of this. And you can also use it out of B skill. This is kind of tricky as well. So, the main purpose of it is honestly just to change your air trajectory and, you know, play a mix up game on your opponent between your regular jumps and your cross up jumps and the dive kick, right? It is just to mix up your opponent. So now let's talk about Rashid's V Trigger 1. And Rashid's V Trigger 1 is a 2 bars V Trigger and it summons this big tornado. It's a slow moving 3 hitting projectile, right? So the idea behind this V Trigger is to force a situation. Basically, it allows you a way to get in. You can walk behind it, then grab your opponent, you can use it and then dash through it and throw your opponent or something. You know, you can do an overhead, low, try to trap your opponent between it. It's a tool to force the situation. And the thing about this is Rashid attacks will change if they collide with the tornado. So for example, Usually this is my standing medium kick, right? But if I'm doing the V trigger Notice how much Rashid moves forward Rashid moves forward Rashid moves forward a lot because his moves are enhanced by the tornado. This also applies to his uh, Jumps look at how his jump arc will change typically. This is his jump arc if I'm jumping through the tornado My jump will go way further this also applies to other attacks like his forward medium bunch. Look at the distance on this. The overhead. Typically this is the range of the overhead, right? Now the overhead almost flies half screen. His V skills also change. This this will go the, the roll, typically the roll goes about half screen distance. But with the, with the tornado it goes almost full screen. And it also applies for his jumps, right? So all, every, more, it, a big portion of Rashid's attack will change based on the tornado. And this also applies to his special moves. So for example, if I'm running and I do a light mixer, this is minus 2, right? But if I mash it, I am minus 11. But if I do the running mixer or just a spinning mixer out of this, I mash it all the way and then neutral. Let's do the light version. As you can see, Rashid is neutral. His eagle spikes also will push him back a lot further. As you can see, typically Rashid will just bounce a little bit, so he's a little bit unsafe. But with the tornado, Rashid bounces way back, so he is a lot more safe. This typically means that you have a lot of tools to force situations on your opponent. You can then try to trap them with this, go for grabs, you know, check them with lows, the overhead, try to ship them with eagle spikes, carry them to the corner with the spinning mixer. Because if you look at this, this is neutral and I carry the Cody almost all the way to the corner on block. But the changes doesn't stop here, it also changes his, you know, EX attacks. So for example, if we here had Cody try to throw his EX tornado sweep. Like we said, the big tornado is 3 hitting projectile. So Cody's EX tornado, which is also a 3 hit projectile, they will, you know, they will clash. Typically, if I try to do an EX eagle spike, I will get hit by the tornado, right? With the V trigger, with the, 
If the EX Eagle Spike is enhanced by the tornado, as you can see, Rashid will fly through projectile. It will gain fireball immunity. So Rashid will be able to fly through the fireballs. No problem. Let me try to do this right. You'll be able to get juggles like this. Also, his EX Eagle Spike or EX Spinning Mixer gets it adjusted trajectory. So typically the EX mixer goes in an angle like this, it's a bit of a, like 45 degree angle and if you happen to whiff this, it is unsafe, right? But with the EX with the V trigger enhancement, Rashid dives at a much, you know, more aggressive horizontal angle and you can come down with an attack. So if we do something like this As you can see I'm landing with an attack I'm not sure if you can actually see it or not See I did heavy kick after the mixer And this means that you can also juggle afterward And if Cody blocked Like let's here have Cody block this He's gonna be blocking everything So you can do something like this I need to dash into it a little bit. As you can see, you can land with an attack there, so... I did a standing, a crouch, a jumping medium kick as I'm landing. As you can see, so you can even do it and then land into a special. And of course, if you manage to get this to hit, You can of course combo something after it, like an EX Eagle Spike. So this all, and, and it, like, that was 412 damage. Of course, if you manage to land this V Trigger roll like this, you can then combo into Super. You can combo into the V Skill into Super. You can then combo an EX Eagle Spike after it into Mixer. So there's a lot of combo potential with this V Trigger. Now, the reason, the way you want to activate this V-Trigger is out of knockdowns. So, for example, if I knock my opponent further away, something like that, and then activate my V-Trigger, or do an Eagle Spike, or like a medium, medium mixer, and then do my V-Trigger, or even something like a back throw, and then activate your V-Trigger. Because if you do this by itself like that, you can actually get punished here if your opponent does something like say... It doesn't have any invincibility, so if I try to use it like that, I'm gonna get hit. So try to activate this out of situations where you have advantage or from really big distances. Because otherwise you will gonna get hit. Overall it's a pretty good V-Trigger. I would recommend using it versus characters that have really good neutral and you will need a getting tool against for example characters like sakura like maybe chun li these characters i say you would benefit a lot out of getting a v trigger like that and basically forcing your way in and forcing a mix up right So now we are going to talk about Rashid's second V-Trigger and if you remember his first V-Trigger was a single time use uh, the big tornado his second V-Trigger is a power up state right Rashid will go into this power up state and it actually powers up his kick specials so what gets powered up is his fireball his eagle spike and the dive kick or the air eagle spike all of these gets improved in different ways for example if you use his regular whirlwind the headbox is kind of small or it's, it's, it's alright, but it is also like the light one is minus 5 on block. If you activate V trigger 2, you will see that the tornado is now much bigger. The headbox on that is much bigger. And the also, the frame advantage is a lot better. Remember that this was minus 5. 
Now the light will be plus one. For example, the heavy is plus one only. The heavy in V trigger is plus five. So you're all you have a lot more frame advantage with the whirlwind. This also improves his eagle spikes. Typically, if you do an eagle spike, this is minus 15, minus 16 on block, and Rashid bounces back. Really unsafe. But in V trigger, Rashid will just bust through his opponent and be at minus seven. So right off of the gate, you are a lot, you're a lot safer. Minus seven is a lot better than minus 14, 15, 16. And because there is no bounce back, you are in a lot better. It's a lot harder to punish, right? And this also changes how it behaves on hit. So for example, regular eagle spike does 100 damage. In V trigger, this will do 120 damage. So you are doing more damage. Also, it is now super cancelable. For example, if I try to cancel this into super, nothing will come out. If I'm in V trigger, I'll be able to combo a super here. And this just gives you a lot more damage when comboing into your super. So that is really, really good. Also, this means that now you have a full screen launching attack that you can super cancel. So you can be playing back and forth in the neutral and then BAM! Cancel into super. You caught them off guard and now you can combo into massive damage. This is all very, very strong. It also enhances his EX Eagle Spike by quite a big margin. So first of all, if your opponent is doing a fireball, Regular EX Eagle Spike have no projectile immunity, right? In V Trigger, Rashid will bust straight through. As you see, Rashid will go straight through the fireballs. So this is a big buff to the EX Eagle Spike. Now, not only that, typically if, you are, if your opponent is blocking and you do the EX Eagle Spike, Rashid again will bounce back and be completely unsafe. However, when in V Trigger, Rashid will boss straight, will go st straight through his opponent. This makes it a lot better for corner escape. So let's say I'm cornered here, I want to escape. I can simply do something like this, and now I'm out, which is fantastic. So this also is now a lot better at a corner escape. Also, it gets improved combos and it gets improved resets. So for example, if I do the regular EX Eagle Spike, my forward medium will not juggle. In V Trigger this will juggle so this gives me better combos because now i can get something like that and do more damage if you got them cornered you can even reset them with a light kick and then go for a 50 50 mix up as you can see you can reset them go for a grab maybe so this allows you to do some really cool combos when you have them in the corner really cool resets the EX Eagle Spike get enhanced by quite a bit. As you can see, it's better corner escape, it's a better combo tool, it's fantastic, it goes through fireballs, it allows you to corner escape, you can use it for enhanced combos, you can use it for resets, it's a ton better. The other moves that also get enhanced by quite a bit is his, you know, Eagles, Aerial Eagle Spike. Aerial Eagle Spike, just like the regular grounded one, also has this bounce back effect. Which makes it really unsafe. As you can see, this was minus 18. We are talking about something that is really, really negative. In V trigger, Rashid doesn't bounce back the same way. So now this is only minus 4. This was neutral, actually. This was neutral. So these now are a lot safer than they used to be, which makes them a lot better. It also makes using this. As a shimmy tool, for example, if I draw my opponent and I want to shimmy them, if, I, if I'm doing this regularly, yeah, there's a lot of pushback, but Rashid is like minus 15, which is not too bad. So if we here had Cody try to wake up with a grab, I will try to shimmy him with this. So now this is a lot better. So the eagle spikes, both aerial and grounded, gets improved by quite a bit. The fireball gets improved by quite a bit. He also gets access to a new move. This is done by pressing the V trigger button and he gets a horizontal fireball or a horizontal tornado. And just like the other one, you can also V skill through this one. So you can do this and then do your V skill. And this is a really good get in tool. As you can see, your plus here. You can throw your opponent. 
And one cool thing about this is Rashid's movement through the Haboob or this you know horizontal projectile is also the same as his you know big V trigger one tornado. So for example, if I do roll so that I am in the tornado and then do light mixer, so something like this. This light mixer have the same properties of my V trigger one mixer. If you remember when we did the V trigger one or the light mixer in V trigger one, this was completely safe even if I measured to the max. This have the exact same properties. So you can always do something like this. And as you can see, you carried them all the way to the corner and you are zero on block. That means neutral. Rashid have three frame, many characters doesn't. So this is a fantastic get in tool as well. Overall, V Trigger 2 is really, really strong. The best activations for it, I will say, are sweep into V Trigger and standing heavy kick into V Trigger. These are the activations that you are going to be using the most. This is a very strong V Trigger, it improves Rashid's by quite a bit. But again, Rashid is not a character that relies on V Trigger, anyways. And the only downside to this is that you get exactly three special moves. They are really good special, but getting only three specials is kind of limiting, so. Overall, both V triggers are decent. They are not as spectacular V triggers. They are not game changer, but they do give Rashid openings that he can then use to pressure his opponents and get the victory. So now, before I leave you with combos and Oki, I wanted to talk a little bit about Rashid's critical art. Rashid's critical art is done by two fireballs forward, and it does this big tornado. This, of course, is a pretty good anti-air. As you see, it's, this is as you would expect, the hitbox is very big and you can move back and forth with this and it is very invincible, so it, it is something that is hard to be reversal, it is something that is very good for ships, it is a pretty good critical art overall, typically if you are cancelling into it, you will cancel into it either from the V skill, the down V skill, into super, or you might cancel into it from anything to fireball, fireball to super, or you, you know, maybe combo into light punch mixer or medium punch mixers. These are the typical ways that you would want to use your V trigger or you want to combo into your critical art. Overall, it's a pretty good super. I would recommend using it, but honestly, when you're playing Rashid, you will not have access to super that much. Because you will mostly be spending your meter on EX Whirlwinds and EX Eagle Spike. These are gonna do, you know, you are gonna be using your meter mostly for these two things. If you enjoy this guide, please leave a comment or a like. It really helps the channel a ton. Please subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching and stay safe. I will be leaving you now with combos and okay.